Hey guys, fellas, finally another collector talk, this time with someone here from the area, Dalibor Kostadinovsky. Hi Dalibor, how are you? Hi Samuel, thank you. It's very good Hi. to have you here, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Thank you to be here. So Dalibor, you started quite some year ago, I remember when you came here and you bought your first pens, so mm -hmm. you started without too much pretension, but in the meantime actually, we were talking about, your collection has grown quite a bit. And I really wanted to do this conversation with you, this talk with you, because I mean, how old are you? 37. So you're 37. You're definitely one from the younger generation who collects nice writing instruments. You use them in business. I yes. know about that. You, you'll go a bit deeper into that. So first of all, what I would like to ask you and to understand is how did you develop this love for, for writing instruments? Where does this come from? How, why? I think, I think it comes from my childhood because I really love to draw since I'm a little child and it, it grows up to this love to writing instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, I really love them. Uh, I, I use them a lot. I use them every day. And I love it to have a, a, a quality, quality um, instrument. writing yeah. instrument in my hand. And, and I love, I love the, the, the small details on the pants or, or the, the, the function of them. And mm -hmm. yes, that's, that's how I, how I built my small collection of fountain pens and roller balls and pencils, so yes. Well, that's also an interesting thing. You're not only fountain pen, you're not only yes. roller ball, you go all through the, the thing. Maybe before we, we move on into the conversation, I'm sure people would like to understand and know a bit your background in mm -hmm. terms of what you do in business. So what is your business background? I mean, you're, you're a businessman, but what kind of business do you do? Uh, first of all, I, I started to study a technical drawer. Oh, uh, interesting. For, uh, it's, it's, 20 years ago. The, the, the so-called Hochbauzeichner, is yes, it right? Yes, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The German yeah. will understand. Yes, so... Uh, it, it's before the, be, becoming an, an architect, you, you do this technical perfect, kind of drawing, perfect. right? And uh, when I finished, when I finished uh, this kind of study, the, I, I changed totally the, the business. Uh, now I'm an owner of a company with two friends of mine. Uh, we're in uh, financial services. That's why I use them a lot to... to to sign contracts, to, mm -hmm. to explain uh, some stuff. When you are in a meeting, you have to make some uh, notice about what you are talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. You have a lot to do with customers. You yes. have a lot to do with business partners also. Absolutely. So when you go to customers, mm -hmm. for example, what kind of reaction do you get when you pull out one of these pens? And obviously, after we're going to go into mm -hmm. the pens, we're going to, to a bit discover your beautiful collection. But I always love to give this, this first background and then start getting into the, the collection. So uh, to get back to my question, what do, for example, customers tell you when it comes to your um, writing instruments, when you pull out such a it's, nice pen? It's, it's, always, it's, it's always up to the pen that I use because some of the pens um, you can you, you, you saw the pen but you don't know if if it costs 50 Swiss francs or if it costs 500 Swiss francs mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, there are no emotional about this pen so but if, if, I, if I put out a, a very nice pen there are always uh, the same reaction they look at this and they think wow what's that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you get asked, right? There yes, is yes, a of course. There of is course. a reaction, right? Yes, of course. It's not like you pull out a pen and there is no, no reaction. No, no, no. And like no, no. There is always... And that's quite of interesting, right? Because, I mean, it's like with... It's, it's very similar, like watches. No, you're a watch guy also. You're someone who appreciates the finer things in life. You always dress well. You're also Thank one you. of Thank our you. customer at Amarcor, uh, doing always nice uh, suits. And um, so there is always a reaction from people, yes, right? Yes. You see, some of some of the people they are asking, so what kind of pen is this? Where do you get it from? Uh, in other customers, y you see that he want to ask, hey, what's that? But uh, he 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 stays a yes, bit uh, stays, uh, back. Yes, uh, they just back, and they're think, afraid of the should, answer. Should, maybe <laughs> should, should, should I ask? Yeah. Should, should I ask what's that? But but you see, you see always the reaction. 
uh, if you if you use a, a beautiful writing instrument and I like it really I like it it's if if we go into an even more direct question do you think that the reaction at the end of the day is positive or negative or it's 50 50 no even? I think it's more positive it's more positive it's more huh? positive a lot of people love beautiful things mm -hmm. love beautiful love beautiful watches love beautiful cars and if you use a beautiful pen they see it and some of the customers they they even ask me is it possible to to use them to just to try it uh, mm -hmm. how how it works is it is it different to to write with a pen with with such a pen yes, than with, with a, like a that, normal with a brick right Carandash yeah uh, the classic one so yeah it's the most of the people reaction of of the pens are is is great it's great they 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 love it and I think that I bring some people to to buy uh, you did more more. Pants who are, I said, just a little bit more expensive than, than the normal. The classic yes, one. The classic one. You absolutely did. I know. I know a lot of the people who came because of you because they felt inspired by you, and that uh, you know. I, I always tell you, you're a trendsetter in that sense. And uh, you, I mean, you have an office. There is people in your yes. office. They see you using these pants, uh, and, and therefore they, they get inspired. They get mm -hmm. kind of uh, uh, this this willingness to say. Oh, you know what? I want to go for for a nicer pen, and I felt that, and I'm happy that you that you are mentioning that. Since you took the first pen in hand, I would yeah. say, and I would like to go a bit into yes, these yes. four, first four pens that we have here. There is some more pieces there. How many pens do you have in your collection right now? Thirty, round about. Thirty pieces. That's yes. absolutely awesome. Not crazy, it's yes. right. It's exactly how it should I'm be. I'm on right? the right way. I'm exactly. on the right way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it's it's obviously it's awesome and um, it's a great track record. I see four beautiful pens here: three German, one Italian. Start maybe with the first one that you had in your hand. Tell us the the the, the, the piece and uh, yeah, maybe just a very slight like information when you bought it, how you use it. This pen, uh, I think it's. A half year ago or one one year ago exactly and um, when i saw it here in your in, in your store and i felt absolutely in love with this beautiful piece i love the, the color, color right? i love the color i love yeah. the, i love the combination of of gold and green and it's a roller it's a, it's a rollerboard and he's he, he writes so beautiful uh, actually it's i think this pen I use actually the most of all because I remember I you always have it in, yes. in the notepad holder, right? Is it the Mont Blanc always. notepad holder you have? Yes. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. So he, he, that's my. It's a beautiful absolute. shape, also, right? Yes. This this shape that goes into yeah. So that's my, actually my daily favorite writer. one. Yeah. So my, I, I love them. I love them, and I use them. Every day, and every day. What about this three Mont Blanc here? I mean, you have here a very important piece, a very new piece, and one iconic piece also. Tell us a bit about it. This pen is a, was a gift for my birthday. I remember from a, that from a colleague, <laughs> from a college with me. So uh, this Mont Blanc pens, I use them not a lot. They are at home the most time because I, I just love them to, to look at them and to know. Wow, I have a beautiful piece at home. That's more like. At Mont Blanc, I take at, at Mont Blanc. I look at that they are more like an investment for me mm -hmm. when I when I bought uh, mm -hmm. Mont Blanc pens and and then try and I try really to not use them a lot and to keep this them. one not this one this one I use. Is this, this a fundamental like, rollerball? It's a rollerball. That's a rollerball. Yes, very nice. This is one that you can use. Yeah, but these are limited edition. You yes. always keep the box and Absolutely. everything. So everything. Yes, th th they're more like pieces that, as a lover of fine writing instruments, you have at home, and then Absolutely, you go yeah. and check them out uh, again and again. And do you use them at home or not even that? I much? use them at home to sign uh, when, when we give when we make some gift cards for birthday or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yes, but the most of the time they are in the box, safe, and 
don't even see the light. So Okay, that's cool. Listen, uh, some people might not agree on that. Personally, I'm totally like you. There is pens that I use every day and there is pens that are so precious to me that I have them in the safe. And I think that's totally legit when you have a collection of 30 pens, you don't have to use them all. Some pens are more like, I got this as a gift, I'm going to keep them yes. on the side. And maybe if you got it as a gift, you're also afraid of, you know, at the end of the day, losing them or so Absolutely. on. And Absolutely. To lose the, the, the value that you have with the pen. Um, before we move on, tell me a bit like between fountain pens, roller balls, you also have ball points here, beautiful Caron d'Ache, Terre d'Ambre. Uh, we're going to talk about it later. Um, what's the difference between fountain pens and roller balls in terms of usage? I mean, do you use fountain pens every day? Where do you have your fountain pen usually? Some of the fountain pens are at home, some are in my office. The most of the time I use roller balls because they have to work quickly. Mm -hmm. So if I have a meeting True. or if I have a, a phone call and I have to, to talk about challenging topics, so I need a pen who's working, uh, the fountain pen, maybe I forget to refill him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, then I start a meeting and realize, oh shit. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. So, so I, if I write a, a letter or something, then I use the fountain pen. Okay, so uh, if I understand it right, fountain pen really isn't what you use on, on a daily basis. Huh? It's really more, more the roller ball. Absolutely. Which, Dalibor, to be honest, I totally appreciate because some people, like, they just don't use nice pens. You say, when I write something by hand, then I want to feel Absolutely. something. It has to be something nice, right? Absolutely. Yes. But you decided to say, listen, I know that roller ball won't let me down. Down, so that's going to be that's my daily point, writer. Yes. Huh? Yeah, per, very nice. What do we have here? Tell us, uh, tell us a bit about it. So the, the Mont Blanc Brahms edition is also a gift. So this pen is also the most of the time at home. Uh, this one came in a big box, yes, right? Typical yes. donation pen box. Absolutely, uh, yes. Super nice. Uh, this? This one was the idea from you to, to buy a Namiki, this fountain pen. I, I love I love I love the woman who is I'm not sure if it's it probably put it by hand. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a maquillage. It's one of those Namiki pens that I think are great price, uh, uh, quality ro ratio, and, and craftsmanship this, ratio. Right. So this one is also in my office. I use them to write uh, because it's the the, the small. Um, ah, it's the fine nib. The fine nib, yes. Yeah. And uh, to, to make some to, to write letters or or make some notice. Mm -hmm. Then this beautiful piece is uh, my second great love after the Monte Grappa. I saw them on your uh, Instagram account. Mm -hmm. I think you post them before they really was released. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And I had to, the first post I yes, did, I had to take it down. Yeah, that, that's the point. And I saw it and said, <laughs> whoa, what's that? I also totally fall in love because I, I love green. I love the color green. And this one is also, it's a beautiful combination of, of of silver and green and, and, and the this guillage, beautiful right? guillage, yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know how much I love it too. So. Yes. And this one, uh, this one is also in my office and this one I use also daily. So this one is of my, one of my daily pens at, at the office. Where do you carry this pen, for example? Do you usually have it in your pocket or in the bag or you have a pen pouch? Pen pouch. At you have a pen pouch, yes. and, and in the uh, in the office you have a pen yeah, pouch. Yes, yes, yes. But you carry this pen pouch around in in a bag. Yes, in my bag always. Yeah. Okay, and it's with three pens or two or five. Five oh, pens. Yeah, always five pens. W w what, what pen pouch is it? I don't remember. Oh, you have it there. Show, yes. uh, show, show, show. <laughs> okay, perfect. Ah, Visconti. Yes, yes, I remember when you bought this. Absolutely. Well, yes, smart. Very nice. Very cool. So it's Super always cool. in my. Uh, it's like uh, I have a Visconti too. So. Perfect. So <laughs> it's very there are cool. always five pens there, and very cool, very cool. It's the office, and if I have to go somewhere, you know what I like about you. Uh, I like the fact two things. So on one side, you're you. Like every time, for example, I post something and you often you are around here for business and then you just you just drop in and you drink a good coffee, drink a good coffee. Exactly. We're going to have a coffee after this conversation Perfect. also. Perfect. Um, but I, I really like Dalibor that you on one hand, you appreciate just the craftsmanship, the, the yes. emotional side on pens and you understand it. So and, and this gives you a lot of value uh, as, as a person because it shows that you think, you know, further to just trends. 
But on the other thing, on the other side, I also like the fact that you are not just a crazy fundamentalist about writing instruments, but you have ball points, you have roller balls, and you understand that in daily life there is just the situation where you need the roller balls, you need the ball points. That's usually what you will come and just buy like this here yes. at the store. But then you're also fond of saying, hey, I like this piece, this is special, I'm going to buy this one as a fountain pen. For example, the Namiki yes. only comes as a fountain pen, but you said, I like this piece, I'm going to buy it. Absolutely. And this I, I, I really, really like about Thank you. you. You mentioned you have two business partners, right, in, in your office. Yeah. Are they into pens too? Not really. Not really, right? Not really. Okay, so now my next question will be, how do they usually react to your pens? What do they tell you? Uh, just let me... Okay, go, go, go on, okay. go on. <laughs> Uh, one of those guys, uh, he thinks that I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, just because of the pens and, and he could not understand why I have so many pieces. Mm -hmm. It's not like two, three. It's there, yeah, right? So that's the point. <laughs> uh, uh, if you, if you, one, one day you can join to my, to my office, then, then you will see that I there are always 10, 15 pens and there. pencils. Yes, because in every meeting, I always took a rollerball with me and I take a pencil mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it's, it's always about what the kind of meeting it is. If it's, mm -hmm. if it's a meeting with uh, difficult topics and I, I have to... Uh, Maybe draw something or, or like... Not even draw, just to, to talk about difficult uh, stuffs then I always need a pencil to draw. I always draw through like meetings. Like anti-stress. Yes, really. I, I love it. I love when I... This is awesome because, j just let me tell this quickly, this is awesome because it brings also the human kind of side on why handwriting is so important or drawing in, the, in yeah. this case. Sorry, go so on. So I, I, I have, like I told, told you, I, I have always a roller ball with me and a pencil and through the meeting or through the phone call, I write down what we are talking about and I draw. I draw some, some faces, I sketch some uh, landscapes. It doesn't matter. So I just draw. I draw through the whole meeting and there are some, there are three or five letters. But what, what, do, but what do they say when, when they see you drawing? They're like, uh, hey, you're not taking attention or they kind of appreciate it also, makes you special. So I think. When someone meets me the first time, you really think, okay, what's going on with this guy? <laughs> After the second or third time, they know, okay, he, That's him. he, he, lis he listened to me, he, he knows what we are talking about, but through the whole conversation, he's drawing. And this kind of drawing keeps my mind focused to, to, to have maybe some other ideas uh, in the meeting or, or, or just to calm down. Because it's a very deep tough, conversation, deep tough conversation. conversation yes. yeah, yeah. Even if I have a, a, a tough day, before I go home, I always take my 50, 20 minutes, take a, a white letter, uh, take my pencil and draw for 50, 20 minutes. I'm down oh, and then I'm awesome. absolutely relaxed, can go home and, and uh, finish the day it, at peace. Yes, at peace. And I know I, I did a good day. Now I can go home and... This is so awesome. You're 37 years old. You're a businessman in finance. So not creative. Uh, I mean, not creative, super creative, but not like the, the most creative job you can have. Um, more, more flat, more about numbers, about money. So and that's super good. We, we need people like you. Um, and I'm a customer of yours too. So uh, we have to say that that's, too. Thank but, you. Thank you for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> It's, it's likewise, you know, um, the fact that being in this business, but there is such a deep meaning behind drawing, writing. I know that the, the same things you feel for, for drawing, you also feel for writing. And you can also draw with, with a nice ballpoint or with a nice fountain pen. It's incredible how many emotions it evokes you and how important it is for your daily life to feel at peace and to feel good. And that's often, Dalibor, something that people who are not into pens don't understand. And it's also the reason why I find this kind of collector talks extremely important because it gives to the people more background about why you should even use and, and, and uh, like own so many beautiful writing instruments, right? Yes. 
I think, I think every great idea starts with a paper and a pen. So that's 100 years ago like, like this and it's, it don't change till today. So it was, I think, 10 years ago when, when uh, Apple, Apple brings out the, the Apple Pencil, the big, the, the yeah, big, the iPad, the big iPad yeah. with the, with the, uh, with Apple, the pen. Apple pen. And uh, I, I buy it too. I think, yes, that's the new beginning. And it used, I, I used them five months, six months, and I write everything there. there. But it's not the same feeling. It's not mm -hmm. the same feeling. You, I, I don't hear the fountain pen. I don't hear the roller bowl. I, I don't feel the paper. I don't smell the paper. I don't, don't smell the, the ink of the, of the fountain pen. Absolutely. So there are so many emotions if you use, if you use pens years after years, at, or, or, or pencils, or roll, roller balls. And then you have this new kind of idea with this uh, Apple pen. It's nice, it's okay, it's perfect, but you don't have the same emotion like when you use a fountain pen or a rollerball or it doesn't matter what. So I love everything you said. You are evoking with a nice writing instrument, you evoke so many senses which is not feasible with an iPad uh, or, or with digital, right? Digital, I mean, you, you, I work, you work digital too, Absolutely, right? Yes. You have to. But digital is about work and about being efficient. But then when it comes to the development of ideas and creativity and things, also to solve problems, problem Absolutely. solving, Absolutely. then this is the tool, I guess, that, like you speaking, yes. right? Yes. So in every meeting I use the pen, but after the meeting I write down everything on the computer. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I start with the pen and with the letter. Awesome, uh, Dalibor. I, I, I love that. Listen, I know you have some more pens over there and I would love to see what, what you have. So, what do I see here? I see Visconti, Tibaldi, Platinum, Delta, Napoleon. This is a gift also, right? Yes, that's uh, also a gift from a friend, yes. Very nice. That's, that's a, a stunning pen. It's a very interesting, interesting, interesting story about this pen. because <laughs> Tell us. This was a gift. I have I think five or six years ago, an accident with the car. And this pen was in the car. And if you take a look here, you see that it's broken. So yeah, a small piece of them broke out. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I came to you and said, Sandra, I have a big problem. Uh, I want this pen again. And he's broken. And then you told me, listen, Dali, uh, Delta, uh, they don't produce any They're pens the anymore. So they're <laughs> out of business. And then I said to myself, oh, shit, uh, I want the same pen without this broken piece. And I searched it on eBay, on Ricardo, everything. I, I couldn't find the same. So I, I searched for the pen on Ricardo, on, on eBay, uh, on Tutti, everywhere. And I couldn't find the same one. Now it's... It's re it remembers me always of the accident with the car. So <laughs> Which is not so nice, but on the other, it's a story. It's and a you're story. here, Absolutely. you're doing yeah. well. Everything so great. Everything everything okay, yeah. Then you have a beautiful graph of Fabrica said Guillaume. This is also a rollerball again, right? This is a rollerball again, yes. I love it. Again, we come back to the fact you use your pen, so, so it has to be a rollerball. Visconti Rembrandt, huh? Yes. You, is the fountain pen you fountain use pen. it? Every day. <sighs> Super cool. That's also a fountain pen, this Visconti yes. Opera, huh? That was the first fountain pen that I buy. That ah, I buy. interesting. At Style of Zoo. <laughs> Very cool. He's writing, he's writing beautiful. Really? Yes. 14 karat gold yes, name, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and it's a beautiful pen, beautiful, beautiful yes. design, beautiful shade with this red and, and, and white and the marble, absolutely awesome. Um, I see also an Otto Hoot. That's, is, this is a mechanical pencil? Pencil, yes. Super nice, super nice. My drawing instrument, so. It's very good. And Dali, tell me now, uh, on the other one, you have some, a collection, a full collection of something. Yes. Uh, this, this looks like some colorful pens and Absolutely, heroic yes, pens, yes, right? Yes, yes, What collection is it? Tell us about it. A DC collection from Monte Grappa. Uh, I think DC starts also from my childhood, mm -hmm. because since I'm a child, I, I, I really love to, to, to read the comics from Marvel or, or, or DC. And when I saw the DC collection at Monte Grappa, I know I have to have all of them. Mm -hmm. I found six of them really quickly, really easy. And 
I had some big problems with the biggest two one. So this the, the most, most important. Yes, the important two. This one from from Superman and Batman. And then I I came to you and said, listen, Samuel, I have a problem. I have a beautiful collection, but the collection is not full. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. I need I need I need two pens. And then you talk to Monte Grappa, and they told you that they have some. Spear parts that they can yes, put they together, can, right? Together yeah. and yeah. and sends to you the Superman and the Batman. So now up to you. I have the full collection of yeah. this of this uh, beautiful DC Monte Grappa. And I also really love Dalibor the fact that there is a childhood memory, childhood emotions that are connected now to the pens. And now every time you every time you look at them, you kind of connect this this these moments, these emotions. That's totally what the idea is also about when it comes to these beautiful writing instruments. We are emotional beings. And Absolutely. without our emotions, we are nothing, right? Without emotion and dreams, we are nothing. Absolutely. And so there is no way of ignoring the fact that these beautiful items uh, kind of, of, of color our life mm -hmm. and, uh, and are, a very important, uh, are a very important thing Absolutely. at the end of the day. Dalibor, I, I really enjoyed this, this talk and when, what I love about collector talks in general is the fact that interviewing and speaking with many different kind of people give certain kind of, of views, perception. Not everyone is the same and that's exactly the beauty about this collector talk and why I love to do this collector talk. Um, I'm, I'm going to make you this last question. Are you looking forward to buying more pens? I mean, absolutely. you have to... Okay, yes, <laughs> that was absolutely, fast. Absolutely, yeah, very good. absolutely. Uh, what's the next pen you're looking forward to buy? Listen, I think if you buy a pen, you will create a story or you buy it because of a, a story. So I could tell you to every pen a story. So why I buy them, that's very important. But I think that's more important what kind of story you create with this pen. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what will be the next steps? What are you doing with the pen? And I also, I think it was eight months ago, you did you did a, a, a sale, so you an you, outlet, an outlet, yes, an outlet, and I was there and I buy this beautiful piece. Yeah, sometimes we have some some last yes. pieces that that are just in stock and they're gonna remain in stock. This was one that we had a, a there was a, a, a pre loved pen, right? Yes, it was a, a, a Cartier. Yeah, very nice pencil, pencil, also. pencil, yeah. and since I buy them, I, I draw always with. This beautiful thing because it just look great and if you if you if you if I take this one in my hands I can I can feel the the, the story from Cartier through the pen. Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's an important brand. Uh, it's, so. it's also an important brand, yes. But the, the the beauty of this pen is insane. I I, I really love them. I really love them to use them and uh, I can say to everyone, go and and buy a beautiful writing instrument. Start with one. It don't have to be a Mont Blanc or something like that, but... Start with something nice, right? Yes, stay in touch with, with a beautiful writing instrument and, and feel the difference between a normal pen, maybe one who is just a little bit more expensive, but you will, fe you will feel and you will see the difference in, in writing, the, the, the difference in the emotion where you put it in to write something. And back to your question, yes, I will buy a lot of... New pieces. In the next years, yes. And we are happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I, I loved how, how you concluded that. Once again, compliments on, uh, on your collection, also the diversification, so many brands. That also shows that you're very open on different brands, on different kind of craftsmanship, of styles. And that's why I always appreciate about you because every time you come here, there, whatever I, I show you, you're always interested. You don't buy everything that I show you, but you're always interested. You want to know more. And that's for us that work here that are with pens every day. It's a very important thing. Imagine if everyone would come and just say only this brand, only this brand, only this brand, it would be a disaster. So with this, Dalibor, I would like to thank you so much thank you, for uh, this uh, 35, 40 minutes that we did together. I'm sure people will uh, enjoy it. A again, I the hope, diversification of people who show their collection, this is the very important part. And there is always something to learn from everyone that, that is here in this collector talk. So thank you once again, Dalibor. Thank you, Samuel. And guys, we thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Let us know down in the comments what you think about this episode together with um, Dalibor. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, to leave a like, and also don't forget that together 
we are changing the game.